Hello friends, Miss Brown here. My friends, my friends, hello, it's Miss Brown here. Hello friends, and Miss Brown here. You are in for a treat. I'm so excited. It looks like we are ready to go. Hello friends, Miss Brown here. <gasps> Listen. Do you hear that? Why? <laughs> Does anyone know what that sound is? <gasps> what is it? You got it, those are wind chimes. So my neighbor just put up the most beautiful wind chimes. They're with shells and different other materials that make noises anytime the wind blows. So I decided I would have the window open today so that we can hear a little bit of the shells as I read. Isn't that beautiful, that sound? Oh, great, I'm so happy you enjoy it. Okay, friends, so I found the most wonderful book in my library that I'm so excited to read to you. Now, before I get started, let me make sure that you have on those listening ears. You got it. You're turning them on. You're turning them on. And it looks like every single person has them on and we can begin reading the book. So the name of the book today that we are reading is called Fortunately, and it is by Remy Charlotte. So the thing about this book, I'm really excited about reading this book, but I want us to do a little bit of hand motions today. So there are two words that are gonna repeat over and over again in the book. The word fortunately, and anytime something, uh, anytime you hear the word fortunately, I want you to put a thumbs up like this. Let me see your thumbs up. You got it. And anytime there's gonna be another word that says unfortunately, so anytime you hear the word unfortunately, that means put a thumbs down for me. So, fortunately means something good just happened, or something good is about to happen in this particular instance in this book. Anytime you hear fortunately, that means this character is gonna have something great happen. Anytime you hear the word unfortunately in this book, then that means that something bad has happened to this character or around this character. So let's get started. Okay, but wait, before we get started, let me just make sure. Who remembers what are you supposed to do if you hear fortunately? If you hear the word fortunately, you, you got it, thumbs up. Now, let's see who was really listening. What do you do if you hear the word unfortunately? You got it, you put your thumbs down. Are we ready to get started? Let's go. Fortunately. Fortunately. Fortunately, one day, did you remember? Good, you put your thumb up. Fortunately, one day, Ned got a letter that said, please come to a surprise party. Ooh, I love surprise parties. Wow, how how special for Ned. But unfortunately, the party was in Florida and he was in New York. Miss Brown's family is in Florida and she is in New York, fun. Unfortunately though, that's a pretty bad situation. If he was invited to a party that's all the way down in Florida, how's he gonna get there? Let's keep going. Fortunately, a friend loaned him an airplane. Whew, good, so he's gonna make it to Florida. Yes. Go, Ned, go. Unfortunately, the motor exploded. Oh my goodness, look at him being thrown out of there. Fortunately, there was a parachute in the airplane. That's good. I'm noticing something happening with the pictures. I'm noticing something happening with the pictures. Every time a page says, fortunately, the pictures look one way. But then every time the pictures, uh, the words say, unfortunately, the pictures look a different way. Are you noticing that too? Hmm. Unfortunately, there was a hole in the parachute. So he was so excited, he got saved in his parachute, and now there's a hole in it. Fortunately, there was a haystack on the ground. So there's a bit of a pattern happening where he, something fortunately happens and something unfortunate happens and something fortunate happens and something unfortunate happens. Okay, unfortunately, there was a pitch in the haystack. Oh my goodness, in the haystack, look at that pitch. What do you think is gonna happen next? 
doing your thinking cap? What do you think is going to happen next? Do you think he's going to fall on that pitch? Let's see. Fortunately, he missed the pitchfork. Ooh, that's good. Unfortunately, he missed the haystack. Oh my goodness. So he missed the pitchfork, but he missed the haystack. So what's going to happen next? Is it something fortunate that's going to happen next or something unfortunate? Hmm, what do you think is going to happen next? All right, let's see. Fortunately, he landed in the water. There he goes. Whew. Okay. Unfortunately, there were sharks in the water. Oh my goodness, so what's going to happen next? What's going to happen to our friend Ned? Fortunately, he could swim. Good for him. Right? Unfortunately, there were tigers on the land. Of course there was. Of course there was. Now, do we remember why Ned is even going on this journey? Why is he going on this journey? Why is he going through all this? Where is he trying to get to? Yes, he's trying to get to Florida for a, yes, a surprise party. Way to go, friends. Fortunately, he could run. Oof. Unfortunately, he ran into a deep, dark cave. What's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? Fortunately, he could dig. Oh, isn't that lucky? <laughs> Look at the tigers trying to go where he dig, where he dug. Mm. Unfortunately, he dug himself into a fancy ballroom. Wow, look at that fancy ballroom. Fortunately, there was a surprise party going on. And fortunately, the party was for him. Because fortunately, it was his birthday. So he made it to Florida for the surprise party. And it was for him. The end. Oh my goodness, friends, I sure hope that you enjoyed Fortunately. Wasn't that such a fun book? We went on such a journey with Ned to get from New York all the way to Florida. What was your favorite part of the book? Tell your grown-up. Yeah, tell your grown-up. What was your favorite part of the book? All right, friends, I had the most wonderful time with you. I hope that you enjoyed your time with me. Until next time, Miss Brown, over and out. And remember, have the best day ever. Goodbye.